Dr. John Roeder knew there was a possibility that he carried the Huntington gene. As such, he chose to undergo genetic testing to find out if he was indeed a carrier. John is one of the individuals followed in a new documentary, Do You Really Want to Know? That's airing tonight on TVO. And Dr. John Roeder and his wife Mary Lou are with us now in studio. They will be married in May, 40 years. Welcome to both of you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. You guys have been Thank together you. a very long time. Yeah. Uh, okay, Dr. John, let's go through this. You got Huntington's disease. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When did you first start to see symptoms that you had it? I'm saying, uh, what, what did you say there? <laughs> uh, How many years ago? Maybe uh, 10 or 10. Well, I, I think what happened was um, the gene, uh, you could be tested for it in 1993. And John decided in 1995 mm -hmm. that he would be tested. And I think at that point he felt that uh, he could rule it out so he could just carry on with his life because he was, I think, fairly confident that he didn't have the gene and he just could rule it out. But he decided to get the test, I but gather, because it was in the family. It, yes. it was yeah. part of the family history. Right. Right? His so you thought, uh, let's get tested and see. Yeah. Right. Uh, and when you got tested, what did you find out? Uh, well, it was a big shock. Uh, we found that uh, I had the gene. You found you were a carrier. Yeah. So you knew at that point yeah. you were going to get it. Yeah. You remember that day? Of course, you remember that day. Yeah, yeah, it was a pretty hard day. Pretty hard day. Yeah. And how long before you really started to see symptoms of the I kind of life you had? <laughs> well, I think we differ on that because I wasn't really surprised at the results because in 1995. You were, you were because you were seeing them already. I already saw some very small indicators um, and I think he chose to not recognize those or whatever. What were you seeing Mary Lou? Uh, I was see seeing um, just small things, mostly behavioral um, things where he um, would have like a short fuse, um, which more he didn't likely, normally have which in the he past. normally didn't have. He used to be pretty <coughs> calm about things and um, there would be just minor outbursts over some inconsequential event. So you suspected something so was So I up. suspected something. And um, I do remember when we went in to get the results and he, ha he was really devastated. Whereas I remember thinking, gee, this is something I was prepared for. I wasn't really that surprised. So I think I, I, some, I must have recognized those signs. Now, you're, you're a doctor. Yes. So you knew better than most yeah. what a diagnosis of Huntington's would yeah. probably mean, yes. right? Yeah. Uh, all the scribes around, uh, people have uh, shorter and long VVs. People with charts uh, do better than uh, those of uh, long VVs. Mm. Yeah. John, how old are you? Uh, 62. You're 62? Yeah. You don't look 62, actually. Oh, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Not too gray. Looking okay. <laughs> but you've been, you've been kind of living with this diagnosis for 20 years now, right? Yes. Uh, uh, true or false, most Huntington patients don't make it to 62? Uh, I, yes, they do. They probably uh, don't get it. Uh, John's father died at the uh, age of 57. Of Huntington's. Of Huntington's. And um, at that point in his life, he had already been in um, long-term care for almost 15 years. So um, I think uh, I expected things to sort of um, progress at the same pace as they had with his father. So, But they haven't. But they haven't. Uh, totally, you know, they uh, haven't. I you know think... That's what you got, uh, the gene I have at uh, fewer repeats. And if you have a few repeats, and your prognosis is better than if you have a long repeat. A long which, sorry? A long. The uh, number of repeats, uh, repeats. In, the, in the gene, in yeah. the, gene, in the oh, marker yeah, when you. Okay. Yeah, those are indicators of the, your how prognosis. Sure, how yeah, how serious sure the uh, disease will be. So that might explain why you've lived longer. Yeah, I'm proud. Huh. I'm proud. 
Now, tell me, John, you, you're, you need a wheelchair now to get around, right? I'm not sure you can, people watching this can see it, but you are in a wheelchair. Yeah. Uh, you have the outward manifestations of somebody who is fighting with this thing. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you're at all in control of your body anymore? Well, I'm not much in control of my uh, body, uh, but I hope my uh, mind is okay. I can tell that your mind is okay, okay, which must be frustrating as hell because you're okay up here, but the rest yeah. of you is not cooperating. Uh -huh. So, yeah. I enjoy uh, all the chances of working every day, reading, or supervising. Just thank God I don't have to do the work myself. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd knock over the microscope. I have a syndrome. You'd knock over the microscope. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's explain this because, because you're a neurobiologist yeah. at Mount Sinai Hospital. Yeah. And, okay, Mary Lou, can you sort of help us understand how he still goes to work? He goes to work. Um, we live uh, almost next to the hospital. So uh, when we had to downsize from our house, because I knew that it was going to be challenging for him to get to work, um, I had recently retired. So a few years ago, we sold our house, which was nothing but stairs and no proper for accessible facilities on the main floor. Mm -hmm. So um, we are now in a condominium, which is virtually next to the hospital. So um, every morning, I get him ready, and I wheel him to work. And you can still work? Yeah, man. Yeah. I uh, reach out. Uh, he's also a baby every day. I read science yeah, baby. He uh, reads a lot of scientific. Yeah. Mostly he okay. spends his time reading the uh, new yeah, journals, yeah. new scientific uh, literature that's out there. Gotcha. See what's uh, new or not. And then he makes his students do the work. <laughs> that's, no, yeah. that's clever. <laughs> that's the way to go. Vows, you know, now, do you two have kids? Uh, yeah. How, we many, have how many kids? Two. Two, two kids. Mm -hmm. uh, well, this is an obvious question here, but uh, have they been tested for Huntington's? Uh, yes. They have been. And thank God they're negative. They are negative. Both of them are negative. Neither one of them carries the gene. No. Neither one of them. So it's so, now say, totally that gone. That was a big thing in our, uh, in our family. It was if you had kids, you would want to make sure you didn't pass it on to the next generation. So, so that's a thank huge. Thank God uh, our daughter and son were uh, dead. But lots of people in our party, and if they had them, I probably uh, would have um, recommended you uh, uh, undergo IVF, <laughs> like the curls have in uh, Vancouver. Sure. Yeah, they're younger, and um, uh, if uh, you can identify which uh, is have have bad or good genes, mm -hmm. uh, uh, that makes uh, them have a good uh, baby. <laughs> with with all the use. Uh, no, that was available when we were kids, but Gene had Gene we, had we didn't. Yeah. There was no IVF after Gene. No, for us it hadn't was. Hadn't been cloned either. Yeah. So right. for us, we had. We were just willing to take the risk when we had our children. And thank God. And thank yeah. God we. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Because it might have been difficult to live with that if the results had been different. Well, but of course, uh, you don't. It's a ticking time bomb inside you in yeah. some respects, and isn't it? If, yeah. if they were different, uh, we are driver, we probably would have recommended IVF. Yeah. Right, understood. Like, so, um, sure. Yeah. Do you know what? It's uh, awfully good of you two to come in here today and help us understand this situation better. And we look forward to seeing the documentary right after this program in which you are featured. you got a lot of guts, mister. <laughs> and so do you, ma'am. Thanks a lot for coming in and sharing a bit of your lives with us tonight. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. Us. Dr. John Roeder and Mary Lou Roeder, together 40 years this May. Support Ontario's public television. Donate at tvo.org.